Hey Leo, this is Eric. Welcome to your reading for the first half of April, 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. Leo is my moon sign, so um, I'm very excited to see what this has to say for us. So let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all uh, Leos, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo during this time period of April 1st to the 15th. Leo. Thank you so much, Spirit. Leo, Leo, Leo. What have we got for you? Okay, well, we've got two flyers. So, we've, uh, 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 we've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. So, um... First of all, first of all, the King of Wands uh, does represent you, Leo, um, as a fire sign. I'm picking up here that there is a lot of reconciliation going on between uh, you and maybe your feminine energies or maybe your divine feminine. Um, you're really stepping into uh, emotional stability. I'm picking up, Leo, that you're really getting into the mode where you want to be a um, loving and supportive emotional um, support system to someone, multiple people even, for some of you. Um, but you're really standing in this fiery, passionate um, energy of knowing what you want and taking the action towards going, going for it. But, uh, well, not but, uh, uh, at the same time, this is being tempered by um, feminine softness, um, by um, intuition, love, um, compassion, uh, just, just caring, caring for someone, really, really wanting to be there for them. <sighs> yeah, I'm already resonating with that one. Um, you know... I am on a twin flame journey and I am a twin flame guide and a lot of us have been going through a moment where we're balancing our masculine and feminine energies. And I know for me, um, I really stepped into a place of being comfortable with my masculine energies and um, allowing my feminine energies to temper that um, with love and compassion. And there it is, you know, you got it. <laughs> All right, Leo. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. One more for you. All right. <sighs> Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, Leo. So your overall energy, we're starting off with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so learning. Um, um, um. I'm hearing apprenticeship. Some of you may be, uh, may be starting an apprenticeship, um, uh, wanting to, pursuing one. You definitely want to learn more. You're definitely in a learning phase, in a development phase. You're also in a phase of breaking through barriers and blockages with uh, Lord Ganesha here. Um, yeah, really, really using the things that you're learning right now in your life to break through the blockages in that have been holding you back. Yeah. Um, yeah, ooh -wee. the tower. Mm. With temperance and the hanged man. All right, well. What is this saying? <laughs> um, so the tower is talking about a situation that's coming to an end. Um, there is a sudden strike. It's something you weren't expecting. Like you honestly, you really weren't expecting this. And it's not, in this situation, I'm not picking up that it's a bad thing. Um, it's actually going to turn out to be a very, very good thing. To be quite honest, I see the tower as a good thing anyway. Okay, because ultimately, even though it may be really shocking, it may be super destructive, you may be left, you're gonna be left in the dark not really knowing which way to go. Ultimately, the, tower, the energy of the tower is bringing down a structure that was no longer serving you. And so now you can rebuild, okay? Uh, with temperance here, so there are, there are really, there are some serious blockages that are being moved through right now. And it's leading towards greater union within yourself, Leo. 
Um, and then we have the hanged man underneath all of that. So you, you're going to be in a period of suspension of maybe even isolation. Um, you may have already been in this period. I am picking up that the energy of the hanged man is carrying over um, from a, you know previous time frame because we're speaking of April first to the fifteenth here. So this this hanging man this hanged man energy is not necessarily um, new. It could be new for some of you. Like the tower could lead you to entering the hanged man. But what I'm picking up for the most part is that you have been in this hanged man energy of um, suspension in order to get a different perspective. And it's the new perspective that has come to you through this hanged man energy that has now facilitated the energy of the tower to come in and remove the structures that are no longer serving you to remove whatever was there so that you can rebuild with this new perspective you've been, you've been developing. Okay. Excellent. 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 Um, I do want to share something with you guys. I'm doing this reading right now for Leo. It is my moon sign. My twin's name is being repeated in my head like crazy. <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt like I needed to share that with you. Okay, let's get into this. Storyline. The chariot. You are moving forward, Leo. And hallelujah, because you're you're ready. Like you you're passionate. You understand now. The top and honestly, this is why I feel like the tower is a really, really good energy for you right now, because it is clearing the way for you to just take flight. All right. Take action. Move forward with strength. There you are, Leo. You're showing up in the reading. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're passionate. You are on fire. You are in love. And you know what you're going for. You know what you want. You're moving through it. You're, um, I'm going to give you an example. For me, the tower energy represents um, fear of uh, not being good enough, fear that the actions that I'm taking towards that which I truly desire are wrong. Um, and I've come to the understanding now that it's not wrong because I'm being guided by my higher self. I'm being guided by my heart. I am, in fact, in alignment with my higher will, with divine will, um, with the will of God, and I'm doing the damn thing. I'm taking the actions. I'm taking the steps. And I'm not letting the results that I'm seeing in the 3D world right now deter me, okay? That was an example of what the tower represents for me. And this is why I really feel like this is a really good energy for us, Leo, because it's, it's, we're literally breaking away from the blockages, from the barriers that have held us back in the past, okay? Good on you, Leo. Moving forward, we have the Nine of Wands. Perseverance. Not giving up. Um, in some cases, in some situations, this is a, this is a tough, this has been a knockdown, drag out fight. Um... And the, the, the Nine of Wands kind of talks about the fact that the fight is never over. The war is never really won. Okay, so you, you're, you're, in a, you're kind of in a period right now where power may have been maybe uh, waning for you a little bit. Or I'm sorry, waxing, which, no, whatever. It, it may be, um, you know, you may not feel as powerful right now. But just know that this is kind of a moment of kind of resting um, a little bit and just pre preparing yourself for the next battle, yeah? Cup, uh, the Nine of Wands is coupled with the Hierophant. Yes. So perseverance in the uh, mode of, you know, following your higher will. Keep going. Okay? Don't let anyone deter you. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone tell you that you're crazy um, because you're connected. You're connected with yourself. You are... I'm totally talking to myself right now. <laughs> you're connected with yourself. You're not wrong. You're not crazy. You. I mean... Hello, the tower has illuminated everything that has been holding you back in relation to this situation. So leave it where it is and move forward, okay? Next, we have the Two of Swords mm -hmm, mm -hmm, with the Queen of Pentacles. There is someone around you, Leo, um, or this could be you, but what I'm really picking up, it, it's not, it, this is not Leo. This is, there's someone around you there is a feminine energy around you that is very strong, very stable, very powerful, loves you very much. Um, but you don't really know how to move forward with it. You're trying to figure it out. You're like, you're, you're looking at the, the, the board game here and um, you're trying to, you're trying to figure out your best move. Okay. If this is not a feminine energy, um, Oh, no, 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 this is. It's a feminine energy that's around you. 
or at least Leo, you're involved with someone, um, or like you could be like me, I'm the feminine energy. Um, but like, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble getting this out. Um, there's either a feminine energy around you that you're trying to move towards, or you are the feminine energy here and you're, you're feeling, um, not confused. You're just, and not really in a, in a rock between, between a rock and a hard place. I'm not picking up that this is like, I'm refusing to see anything or I really feel stuck. It's more of, you're just, you're trying to plan out your next steps to take action towards whoever this queen of pentacles is. This could be uh, an earth sign, um, Taurus, Leo, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn. Um, speaking of signs here, we've got the chariot. Who, what is the chariot? The chariot is, uh, I believe that's Cancer. And then the Hierophant is Taurus. Okay, so, and then you're here with strength. So there definitely could be an earth sign in your life that you're trying to move towards or um, is trying to move towards you. But they don't really know how to do it right now. They're really just trying to, they're taking, they're planning the steps. They're being very logical about it. They're wanting to move forward. They just, they're not sure how yet. But man, do they see you in all your divine glory or you see them in all their divine glory. Like they are solid. They're set. They're ready to go. You know, they're wifey material in some cases. Like they're, you know, for a fact, they're going to hold you down for life. Like, yeah. Moving forward, we have oh, the Three of Cups, celebration, wanting to celebrate with justice. Yeah, look, something, you, you, wanna, you wanna be out in the open about something, Leo. You wanna, you want to tell all your friends, you wanna celebrate, you wanna go out on dates, you wanna, you know, you wanna do the damn thing. And with justice here, it's saying that that's coming. It's gonna happen. Believe me, guys, it's gonna happen. And it's part of the tower energy. I really feel like, Leo, with you moving through the tower energy, um, you are, more of your light is shining and that's making you that much more attractive. Now, I'm also picking up that, there, that this tower energy doesn't necessarily have to be you. It could be whoever this person is could be going through a tower moment and finding balance and breaking through blockages on their own um, in order to take the steps and do the things that they know they wanna do, okay? Next, we have, aw, the King of Cups, <laughs> with judgment. All right, so there is, ooh, okay, um, there's someone here. There is someone, this is not speaking to you, Leo. This Again, this is speaking to someone else that's around you, who is, it could be a water sign, um, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but it doesn't have to be, um, but this is someone that is very much in love, um, very emotionally stable, um, wants to provide emotional stability to somebody, um, to you really. Um, and with judgment here, you know, they're being, they're, they're experiencing, um, a higher calling. They have been connecting with themselves and connecting with their higher self and, and connecting with spirit. And, um, and throughout all of that, they've, they've been able to reach this King of Cups state. Now, they may not really be expressing that at the moment, because again, we do have this Two of Swords here. So this is part of, um, this is kind of a continuation of what they were saying, what, the, what Spirit's saying here with this Two of Swords. Um, uh, this person is standing in the King of Cups energy, and it's showing up as a masculine energy because um, there's action that wants to be taken. There's action that's being guided to be taken. So this person is still in a, in a period where they're really just kind of listening, listening to their higher selves, listening to God, finding that their answers, their prayers are being answered um, and they're gaining confidence within their spirituality, within their emotions, with trusting their emotions and following the guidance that they get, okay? Moving forward, we have, yes, the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. So, um, now here we're talking about Leo again. Um, and we're talking to the divine feminines that are Leo. That would be myself included. You are very much waiting for your harvest to come in. And while you're waiting for your harvest to come in, um, you're taking stock. You're really, you're really using this time wisely to look back on everything that's gone on and how you've reached this point. You're, and I almost kind of see this as a bit of a nostalgia thing because you're really starting to recognize how much you've grown lately. Um, uh, 
Yeah. Now this doesn't have to be just divine feminines we're talking to. We are, we could be talking about other Leos that, you know, um, are connecting with their, their spirituality, are connecting with their feminine energies and are, um, connecting with their magical nature, their, their, um, uh, magnetic nature, charismatic. Um, but the really, the biggest message that I'm getting right now is, um, that you, there are divine feminines out there that are in fact waiting for their harvest to come in. And let me tell you guys, I can feel it coming. I really can. And I'm totally resonating with a lot of this reading right now. So I can, I, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Moving forward. We have the princess of pentacles in reverse with the nine of pentacles. Okay. 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 So, um, I am going to leave this page or princess of pentacles in reverse because there is also a message that has to do with this two of swords and the queen of pentacles in the realm of twin flames um leo either you are with a karmic in a karmic situation that is holding you back from reaching your twin or your twin either you or your twin are in some sort of karmic relationship situation and that is this karmic partner is being represented by the queen of pentacles here. And you're kind of in, in between a rock and a hard place. This is a bit of a definition of being between a rock and a hard place because you don't really know who to choose just yet. Something is not quite lining up. Um, and that's being reiterated here because with the princess of pentacles and the nine of pentacles or the page of pentacles, I'm picking up that this karmic partner or this karmic situation that you that you're in is just not doing it for you. It's not, it's immature. It's unfulfilling. It's, um, it's just, I mean, I'm picking up materialism. It's a, it's materialistic in nature. It's not really what you want. And instead, what you want is this person that is embodying the nine of pentacles where they are um, abundant, independent, um, and living their own life, doing their own thing. And that's what you truly desire. Okay, and you're coming to somewhat of a realization about that. The tower moment um, could absolutely represent that you coming to the realization that oh well no this this is actually what i really want not this other thing that i've been doing for so long so i want to take action and move towards it yeah finally for you leo we have the emperor oh shit <laughs> guys we have the emperor and the empress twin flames Y'all are getting together, honey. Whoa, I need a second. <laughs> um, the Emperor and the Empress. This really could be a very good month for, um, for unions. Um, keep in mind, guys, that Mercury is still in retrograde. Um, and it's going to be throughout for the, for the full period of this reading. It's not going direct until April 15th. So communication might be a bit shoddy. Um, things might go a little crazy. Um, but just understand it's just because of Mercury and retrograde. I was feeling because, um, I'm feeling guided to, t to, to tell you that because those of you that are resonating with knowing that union is coming for you, just don't get so, don't, don't be upset if like there really isn't much communication or there are arguments or someone's just being poopy. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because you two are connected. You two are, you guys, you are so connected. You're right here with each other. I literally, you guys popped out together, the emperor and the empress twin flames and the emperor is is looking right at her man does he love her oh and by the way she loves him too <laughs> <laughs> oh and she wants him bad but he wants her bad okay guys there is your reading um i feel like i honestly i feel like i want to say more about the emperor and the empress, but all I can really say about it is literally the only message that's coming in here is twin flame union. So there you have it. It's not for everybody. This is a general reading, guys. So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But there are a lot of you that I'm connecting with right now that are, you're really starting to reach it. You're getting there, guys. You are really, really get, getting there. And I'm very, very happy for you all. All right. Well, there it is. I love you guys. My fellow Leos, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys for the second half of April. Yeah, take care. Bye.